Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Justin uh, back again for another comic haul video. Uh, this is for September 3rd, the first week in September here. Uh, so we'll see what books I pulled. Uh, in the comments below, let me know what you got. So let's see. Here is the uh, super bag. Oh, and I actually have my list. A little list of books that I wrote before I went to the comic book store. Because I like to at least have an idea of what I'm trying to get. Uh, so I'll throw that over there. And it always comes wrapped in comic book shop news, comic shop news. So that's always fun. So here are the books. Let me get rid of this comic shop. Oh, what do we get? We got the DC, the world's gr or the world's greatest graphic novels essentials. Little card here. That's cool. And a listing of all the graphic novels. And I think I looked at this. Most of them, I mean, Fables is on here, but for the most part, it's Batman and Superman. Jeff, dude, stop. Stop. Boys. Wonder Woman, Joker. All right, but for the most part, it is Batman and Superman. The dogs are over here. I don't know what they're doing. They're fighting, playing. It's all strange shepherds for you. Um, all right, so first book is the last in this series, Original Sin. This is 8 of 8. And it looks like we got some more watchers here. And it's the final judgment. So I'm excited to see how they wrap this up. Uh, Jason Aaron, Mike uh, Dodo, and Frank Martin. We got Daredevil on the cover, Miss Marvel. Nope, Daredevil, uh, Captain Marvel, Mr. Fantastic, Wolverine, Iron Fist, Captain America. So here we are again. So excited to see the conclusion of that series. It started off really strong. The last couple issues have kind of been okay, but excited to see what's going on. Um, next from Marvel, I'll just kind of do these in that order. I don't know why that works. Um, next from Marvel, Uncanny X Men number 25. Really enjoyed this series. Kind of like re-sparked my, I guess my love for the X Men because you know early 90s you had X Men animated series. You had uh, Jim Lee taking over X-Men then, so I had all those and recently just gotten them again. But we'll see what happens in this issue. Hopefully we'll find out some more about the Professor's Last Will and Testament. I think that's where we left off in the last issue, if I'm not wrong. So, here we go. Uncanny X-Men, number 25. And it's it's the 25th issue, and normally Marvel will do something crazy. Well, it is a $5 book. Never mind. There you go. Next. Spider-Man 2099, number three. This has been a great series so far. Uh, issues one and two were really, really good. I really enjoyed them. Um, writer Peter David, artist is Will Sline. Slinely. But uh, really, really enjoyed this book. Uh, how he, how uh, he's adapting to being in the present. Can't find a way back to the, the his future, his or his present, his future, our future. Um, next. This is from DC. I uh, only picked up a couple of these books this week, but here is the new 52 Futures in Green Arrow, number one. So I don't know. There we go. Got a little bit of the action going on here. It shows up for you there. So excited to see what they do here. Oh, Conan's even got the... Uh, there's no really thing, but it's still the same material all the way around. Uh, so we'll see what happens with this. I don't need to be looking... All right, I'm going to not look through this. I'm going to put this up, but Green Arrow. All right, and next is the first time I picked this book up, and I've been meaning to put this book up because I've heard a lot of people say some really good stuff about it, um, like Comic Uno um, and Mike Spider Slayer. Both of them really, really enjoy this series, so I'm going to try to get into it. Probably going to go backwards at this point because I think the series, I don't know if it's ending or if they're changing writers soon or what, but and this is New 52, Future's In. This is Earth 2, number one. So we're getting all these one shots. We'll see. Let's see if we can do this cover. This is Lois, who is now, you know, Red Tornado. So not sure if she's getting upgrades or this is just showing like when she was actually transformed into Red Tornado. I'm not sure. Put that up there. Uh, all right. Next from Image is Wayward Issue One. Uh, so people at the comic book shop told me that this was a pretty good series. They really enjoyed this issue, so um, I went ahead and picked it up. And the art, I mean, I really like the art. It's kind of anime-ish, 
kind of not. Like here's a good one. Let's see if there's anything else. For these new series, I like to show you something at least, kind of get you interested. I mean, but look at all this. This is nuts. This is a great, you know, two-page section here. Um, and this is by Jim Zub, and artist is Steve Cummings. Cummings. I have no clue what this book's about, but gonna give it a try. Gonna give it a try. Uh, I don't know what cover I got the of this. I got the Phantom variant, variant, whatever that means. Variant. So, oh crap! They got all the covers listed here. There are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen covers for this book. Wow, that's a lot. Way to go, Image. Now, out of my little list here of books I picked up, I didn't get um, Detective Comics, Future's End, number one, and I didn't get Grayson, because I think I'm done with Grayson. Like, those first two issues are okay, but I don't really want to read about Nightwing being a super spy. That just doesn't interest me. Um, yeah, so that's it. Also, um, I'm picking up a series that I kind of lost out on, or just heard some good stuff about it, and I actually picked up issues one through four a couple weeks ago and read those and enjoyed them, so I went back and maybe I have one through, f I don't think I have number five now, crap, well I messed that up. Alright, well here it is, it's all new X Factor. And I know they're up to number 13 or something now, but I got 6, 7, 8, and 9. I'll show you all those covers. 7, 8, and number 9. I really and seriously think I forgot to get number 5. So, I'll have to check that. Maybe I already have number 5. Maybe I picked up one and then two, three, four, five. I don't know. I'll check. If not, then that's an excuse to go back to the comic book store, right? So that's my haul for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, trying to get some reviews up. I have so many books to read, it's ridiculous. Like, I'm behind. Very, very behind. So i got to pick some time and just kind of drill through some of those. Um, Spider-Man 2099 was one of them. I just read, I think it was like Monday or Tuesday, I read issues one and two. So, got caught up on those. So, uh, but leave me a comment below. Follow me on Twitter at Exhaust State. And I'll be back again soon with another video. Hope you all have a good weekend. And until next time, have a good time.